Hello everyone and welcome to VizRT Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now today I'd like to show you how to use title presets in TriCaster. This allows you to use one of our built-in titles and create an array of individual titles using a single graphic. Super easy and super helpful. So let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so I'm in the TriCaster Vision interface and we have our homies over here in input number seven on our program cheering us on to look at title presets in TriCaster. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do here now is I have a, a title loaded into my buffer number one and on my downstream here. So let's go ahead and bring that on screen there. All right, see, they're cheering my name on. Woo, thanks guys. All right, so uh, right now, basically we just have this one title in here, right? So if I say I had, I want to give a name to each and every person that's on the screen, um, you would think that I would need to have a bunch of different titles in here individually and then just bring them on as I need to but I don't have to do that. TriCaster has made that easy. So let's take a look. Uh, if I click on this gear, this, uh, not gear icon, but this uh, text icon here. Uh, so from here, I have my title ready to go. Uh, and if I click on the presets here at the top, I now have 16 different preset bins for me to choose from. So I can take a snapshot of these simply by clicking that here, and I can alter it by right clicking and I can rename it or just clear it if I want to get rid of it, make a new one, etc. cetera. Uh, so now let's go ahead and just fill this up with a few other ones. All right, so next one here, let's do Lenny Nelson, All right? And we'll add that here like so. Grab another one. Let's give a shout out to Chris Black. All right, we'll stick that there. And let's do one more for our homie David Lynch. Work. All right, and then we'll make that there. Okay, so now you'll see I have this. I'm going to leave this up, uh, but let's go ahead and just cycle through them. So now what I can do is simply click on these like so, and it will change the titles that we have in there. Pretty dang awesome and convenient. That way you only have to load in one graphic, only have to deal with one buffer, uh, and then just bring that on screen however you want, okay? So cool. Uh, so you would go do that. You could do that from there, or there's another way you can get to these presets. If I hit close here, click on the gear icon, and in the title presets tab, I can select them like so as well. Very cool. Okay. Now uh, that's another way you can uh, access these, or you know you can write some macros and put those to an Elgato Stream Deck, or throw it on to a button on say your control panels. Uh, however you want to do it. So a couple of different ways you can access these, but I wanted to show this because it definitely helps as far as like bringing in the uh, graphics that we have on the system itself or uh, ones that you've created and then you can just alter them however you need to just with a simple touch of a button. Very cool. All right, cool. So uh, I highly recommend checking this out, play around with it, and of course, have some fun. There you have it, another convenient way for bringing titles into your production via the TriCaster. Now for more videos, make sure that you subscribe to the VizRT YouTube channel at youtube.com slash VizRT official. And for formalized VizRT product training, you can sign up for Viz University, which is available at vizrt.com slash community slash viz dash university. And you can find more information about VizRT products and services by contacting your local VizRT partner or check out our awesome website, vizrt.com. And if you are posting your work using VizRT products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags VizRT, TriCaster, or Vision. We see all of your posts and love it. The VizRT community is filled with amazing people who are creating some awesome art using our tools. You're all artists, and I applaud all of your work. So keep your eye on the donut and not the hole, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials.